Yeah. In this uh, chapter, let's look at uh, the calculation of the bond prices. See, uh, the the last chapter was uh, dealing primarily on uh, bond price is nothing but the present value of the future cash flows, right? So the future cash flows we were discounting at yield to maturity, and uh, whatever is the present value that has come up, we said that that is the worth of the bond or that should be the price of the bond and if in the market it is available for more than that we said that it is overpriced and we can sell that bond available for less than that it is underpriced and we can buy the bond now even in uh, financial markets and products we have looked at this concept of spot rates and forward rates the spot is nothing but if i if i look at the period of the bond right the bond yield to maturity for the bond all right let's uh, take one example which will simplify the entire process Let's say there is a bond which is giving, do I have any numerical here? Mm. We'll take one, the, the example which was there in our Let's take uh, one from our uh, example. Let's take the third bond, which is giving a coupon of 2%, a maturity of one and a half year from the date, because we are talking of prices as on 14th May 2007, and this is maturing on 15th November 2008, almost one and a half year, right? Okay, so let me type in. So it is, uh, it's uh, giving a coupon of two percent uh, per year, and it's a semi-annual coupon, right? As the question is saying, it's a semi-annual coupon, which means one is paid after six months, one is paid after another six months, one is paid after another six months, because this is maturing on after one and a half year and on the maturity date even the principal is also paid oh sorry 101 the principal is also paid as a third step uh, along with the third uh, six months so these are the payments that are coming through the bond so the actual price of the bond should be the present value of the future cash flows so these are my future cash flows. In the future, I will get these numbers. So the present value of the future cash flows is the value of the bond. So this is nothing but, present value is nothing but uh, the, the number divided by E per RT. So let me assume that uh, R is not given in this case. So R I will assume as some number. Right? R I will assume as some number. So... That's where I am saying this divided by e power r into t 6 months, which is half year. Because r is an annual rate, so t will be for 6 months. So this will be my present value. Similarly, the present value of this is also e power e power r into t is 1 year. This comes to me after 1 year. And this comes to me after 1 and a half year. This divided by e power r into t. Right? So, this is the present value 
of all the future cash flows. The total present value of all the future cash flows should be your price. Right? Whereas he has given the price of 101.1017 by 32. We said uh, if it is given as hyphen 07, I can take it as 7 by 32. By 32 is the increment. Why the increments will happen in the range of 1 by 32. So if they have given hyphen 07 or hyphen uh, 31 means 31 by 32. I mean the increments happen at that layer like 5 paisa, 10 paisa increment. It does not happen as 1 paisa increment. 1 by 32 is more like a 3 paisa kind of stuff. The increments will happen in that range. Any price increment. So, so 7 by 32. So which means the price is 101. So what is that 7 by 32? 7 by 32 is around 0.21875. So actually the price was 101.21875. That is the price. So if the R is something, this number will match this number. This is nothing but your IRR. When you go with your calculator, if you simply find out the IRR of your investment, IRR of these three cash flows or these four cash flows, whatever uh, is the price. So if you just put, if you just try this out, minus you are paying today this much. This is what you are paying today. You are getting one after uh, six months. You are getting one after another six months. You are getting one at one after another six months. I try to find out the IRR of this uh, cash flows. This comes out to this comes out to around 0.59%. This is for 6 months. Because each, each payment is for 6 months. This R is for 6 months. And if I want it for 1 year, I simply multiply it by 2. And I will get 1.18% is my yield to maturity. This is what is yield to maturity. What does this mean? Over a period of the bond, the bond is 1.5 year period. Over the period of the bond, the annual return is 1.18%. Right? This is what we typically do as a mechanism to find out the yield to maturity of the bond. Right? But, now, what these, uh, now like that, let's say, so we can very well find out what is uh, what is the price of this uh, bond? Let's say bond 2 here. There is a coupon given. Maturity given. The price is given. So I can very well find out what is the yield to maturity. Right? So the information wise coupon is given. Let's say bond 2. Coupon is 7.25%. Correct? Then maturity is 1 year. Prices from this date. Exactly 1 year is the maturity. And uh, this is a semi-annual coupon. So half of it is paid after 6 months and half is paid after 1 year. And the price is at 105.31 by 32. So the price is, so 31 by 32 is 0.96875 and uh, 105. So this is the price. 105 by, 30, 105, 31 by 32 is the price. So, initially you are paying this much and after that uh, you are getting 
7.25% which means the coupon the first coupon which you are getting is into 100 3 point something because this is a semi annual payment and uh, it's a one year maturity so you will get your principal also back after one year so you are getting at the end of one year you are getting this much because the coupons will come every six months whatever is the coupon he said the coupon will come every six months because it's a semi-annual coupon now based on this i can find out what is uh, the irr of this the irr is mentioned as Point six one percent per six months. Multiply this by two, you will get your annual IRR. So your annual, uh, so the the yield to maturity for this bond is one point two three percent. The yield to maturity for your previous bond, that bond, was one point one eight percent. So if I want to compare these two on which is good for investment. I will find, I will say that this is much better because it's slightly giving me an extra return. Right? So, this is the way to find out the yield to maturity or given the yield to maturity, I can find out the price of the bond. Right? Now, let's say Let's say these are the three bonds that are available. One year maturity, giving this kind of a return. Two year maturity, this is the YTM, this is the coupon, this is the price. There is one more which is maturing in two years. 8% YTM, coupon is 8 and the price is 100. Now, can I create any kind of an arbitrage opportunity out of this? Right? Now, so this is where I want to, so these are the three bonds that are available in the market. One is maturing in one year. Right? If this numerical is understood, you can solve a lot of questions. One is maturing in one year, but it's a zero coupon bond. The other one, it, currently it is available for a price of 96. Whether you want to buy or you want to sell, you can do either of them. Then there is a two-year maturity bond, which is giving a YTM of 8%, but it is priced at 85.73 in the market. And a two-year uh, bond, whose uh, maturity is uh, coupon of 8%, which is giving a coupon of 8% and a yield to maturity of 8%, its price is 100. Now, what I will do is, look at the 2-year bond. The 2-year bond, it is giving an annual coupon of 8% with a YTM of 8. So, what are the cash flows that this is giving? It's a 2-year maturity, coupon is 8. But it's not a semi-annual payment. It's an annual payment itself. Which means at the end of one year, I'll get 8. At the end of two years, I'll get 108. These are the things. Now, what I would like to do is, let's say I have purchased this bond. If I have purchased this bond, I'm getting 8 after one year. I will, I have to pay 100 today. I have to pay 100 today. Then I will get 8 after 1 year. I will get 108 after 2 years. Is this fine? Now, what I will do is, I will check. So, 8 is coming after 1 year. Now, because this is what I am buying, I will see, okay, the 8 comes after 1 year. What is the worth as per the 4%? Because the 1 year, if, if I am investing something only for 1 year, the rate is only 
If I am investing something for 2 years, the rate is 8%. So what I will do is, I will sell 2 bonds. I will sell 2 bonds. Right? One with a face value of 8. Matures in 1 year. Which means after 1 year, I will give him 8. This link is clear. I have bought a bond. So, when I when I buy this coupon bond, I am getting 8 after 1 year, 108 after 2 years. I will try to make payments also in such a way. I will sell 2 bonds, right, because I am an arbitrager. I want to make benefit without taking any risk. So, because I 8 as a coming is guaranteed, I want to make 8 as a going guarantee. So that 8, I, I will sell one bond with a 1 year maturity, 0 coupon into the market. So what will happen for that 8, which means on maturity after 1 year, I have to pay someone 8. If I pay someone 8, going with a 4% uh, discount, Going, with, going at a 4% discounting, what should be the present value of that 8? It is 8 divided by e power r which is 4% into t1. Because I am not selling a 2 year bond. I am selling a 1 year bond and the YTM on that 1 year bond is only 4%. So, so, if I am selling one, that guy will give me 7.68 today because someone else is buying that bond. So, he will give me 7.68 today and I have to give him 8 after 1 year. Correct? Then, I will sell one more bond with a face value of 108. Probably don't look at them as rupees or dollars. Probably I may say some millions. So, 8 million is very much comfortable to sell. Right? 108 million. Or 108,000. 8,000. So, each one will have a face value of 1,000. I will sell 8 such bonds. So, that's how I am positioning it. So, then again, 108 face value. I will sell for 2 years. 0 coupon. So, zero coupon, one.